Okay, here we go. The cumulative, yeah, cumulative property of additional multiplication states that the order in which numbers are combined or multiplied does not affect the answer. However, this is not true for expressions involving more than one operation. In this expression, I'm going to do a different one than that one, but it's pretty close. 5 plus 6 times 3. Pretty close to the same one that's there. In this expression, it's not clear if you, if, if um, in this case, 5 should be added to the product of 6 and 3, or the sum should be done first. So which one do I do first? And if we did them in different orders, would it, would it matter? What if I did this first? What if I made this 11 times 3? I'd get 33, right? So mm -hmm. I would get, I'm going to just... 33 was what we got. Let's see what happens when I multiply first and then add. 5 plus 18. I don't get 33. Work. I get 20. How much? 23. Yeah, 23. So I don't get the same answer. So apparently it matters if I do what I do first. Mm -hmm. And so mathematicians had to come up with a way to... Um, so they can get the same answer all the time. And so they devised an order of operations. And so this order, if we believed that there was other people on other planets, who knows, they could possibly do their, their math in different orders. And as long as they agree, that's fine, but this is ours on this right here, okay? So um, we always evaluate exponents first, and we do multiplication excuse me, multiplication and division left to right, and we do addition from left to right. There's one thing we're going to add to this, and we're going to do parentheses. We'll be at the very top of that in a moment. Okay, so we won't do any parentheses at first. So let's do this one right here. So if we did 12 plus 5 squared minus 4 divided by 2 plus 6 times 7. Okay, so our order of operations says we do this exponent first. And so I'm going to just do it first, and I'm going to write 12 plus 25. I'm going to bring everything else down. 4 divided by 2 plus 6 times 7, okay? Mm -hmm. The next one says that we need to do our multiplication and division from left to right. So I, I start over here on the left side, and I look to see what's what, multiplication and division. Well, division's first here. So two. Okay, so I'm going to do that next. So we're going to bring down our 12 plus our 25 minus, minus 2 mm -hmm. plus 6 times 7. But 6 times 7 turns into 42. 42, that's right. So we're going to write our 12 again. This is where we need to do our math down ways, and this is why we need to show our work that way when I go to help you. You'll know what to do. Now, now we've got to do our addition and subtraction from left to right. So we're going to do this one, and so we're going to do 37, 37 minus 2 plus 42. We're going to do this one. 35. 35. Uh-uh. Yes, plus mm -hmm. 42. I don't have any room anymore, so I'm going to do the side, and we got 78. 78. No, 7. There we Sorry. go. So we're right now, 77. Okay. So that's going to, that's a, that was a long example. Whoop. Back there. It's not that Long hard, example. Though. Not too bad. There's a lot of writing to do, and we just and we worked ourselves down and down and down and down. If you were to work this one across instead, if I went like this and then like you might lose track. Yeah. It's nice for our eye to see that we went straight down from where we were and straight down to where we were. And so that's why in algebra we start going down instead of across like you used mm -hmm. to do before. Okay, so we're now going to take this order of operations. I'm going to see what happens if I can do. Can I delete this? Yes. Okay. So. I'm going to leave that up there because we're going to add something to it. Instead of number one, up there at the very, very top, I'm going to like do a uh, 0.5, <laughs> something bigger above it. Something above one is going to be parentheses. And it's a terrible handwriting. But it also, they actually can be grouping symbols too because we can do parentheses, but we can also do what we call brackets and then even what we call braces after oh, that, okay, yeah, around I've done those, that. okay? And so we could call, instead of parentheses, we could call those grouping symbols. Okay. So let's do an example where we have some grouping symbols. And they're actually going to do that for us. They're going to do brackets and parentheses. So we're going to go 20. We're going to do brackets. 16 plus 8. That was in parentheses. And divided by 6 plus 3. 
close our brackets and minus three cubed. Okay, so we're going to do inside those brackets and parentheses first. And so we have these. You have that on the Thank you. I have this bracket here, so I need to do that first. And then, but inside that, I've got some parentheses, so we can do that even further first. So I'm going to bring down my 20, and I'm going to keep my brackets. Once 20. I take this out of my parentheses, I no longer have to write the parentheses. Mm -hmm. So that'll be 24. 24. I'm going to divide by 6 plus 3. Close my bracket. You could turn those into parentheses if you want, but it's just easier not to. And now I follow it's the order three. of operations that we had before inside there. Square, cubed, yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There we go. So what do I do first, the division or the addition? Division. Yes. So it would be um, 4. Yes. Plus so 3. Gonna, yes. So we have a 4 plus 3 minus... 3 cubed. Okay. Still do this because it's first. We're going to have 20 minus... No, it's divided it's by... It's divided by... Multiplied, actually. Or yeah, multiplied by... 7 minus... There's the minus. 3 cubed. Okay. Now we follow the order of operations for this. Which do I do first? The multiply, subtract, or the exponent? The multiply. Careful. Wait. <gasps> no, 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 because no, that's an exponent. Yes, we do that one first. Now, we could technically do that. It won't hurt, but we're going to not. 20 times 7 minus 3 cubed is how much? 27. Good job. You've been memorizing those. <laughs> okay, the, the multiply or the subtract? What do I do first? The multiply. The, yes. So, let's see if we can, we can fit this in here if I write really big. So, what is 20 times 7? Um, 140? Yes. Minus 27. Is 119? No, 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 that's not right. No, no, that wouldn't be right. 120, 120, I don't know. <laughs> we need to borrow. That comes to 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. And 113. There you go, 113. Where did I get 120? All right, there we go. And it's really nice for your whoever is going to be looking at this, when you're all done and you do all that, for them to figure out where that answer is, it might be nice, especially for your mom, yeah. so she'll know what's going on. So it looks like That's your problems are nothing like that long one we just did. They're going to start, and the, there might be kind of a big one there, but it's not quite as long, no it's exponents so in there. Stuff. So you're going to be able to do that, and the rest of it should be like review after that. Yep. We're super, done? Super, super easy. We're done, we're done.